first of all, um, YouTube and TMZ have you everywhere being knocked off the stage <laughs> like last week. What ha Can you talk about that? Do you mind talking about I that? I don't mind. It. It's, I think it was kind of blown out of proportion. <laughs> if, you, if you watch the video, it's not that big a deal. It's a small little stage, and I'm sort of at the end of the stage, rocking out a little bit, and Mark bumped into me, and I sort of just jumped from the stage down into the crowd. and. You know, it was difficult to get back up because the girls were a little, you know, relentless. And your, your smoldering eyes are like looking into the into the girls' eyes, and all of a sudden you're on the floor, man. That that couldn't have felt cool, though. Um, you know, it felt fine to me. You know, <laughs> my party, and I can cry if I want to. All right, very good. And and you, you are Mark. You're you're the guy who pushed him off the stage, correct? Yeah. Our, our guitar player. Yeah. Wait, I'll get your mic on oh, for you. Oh boy. Go on. Here you. we go. What I, I want the real deal. I know Constantine doesn't want to talk about it. He seems a little upset by it. But what was the real deal? Why did you push him on my turf? turf. <laughs> he was on my turf. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was it was a huge mistake. It's a tiny little stage that actually is in a club that usually doesn't have live bands. So they set up this little stage, and uh, Constantine and I always do this kind of rocked out little thing. And you know, I bumped into him, and he was at the end of the stage. I mean, he's so much bigger than me. How would I possibly? Yeah, and that, you know, seriously, man, you are a lot taller than you would figure from watching American Idol. How tall are you? About 6'3". I, I mean, I, you know, you look like a normal-sized guy on TV. You get that a lot when you meet people. Yeah, they seem to uh, be surprised at my height, sure. And, uh, I mean, a lot of stuff going on with you. Let's get right into it. Um, new album, new single, and, and now this is your debut album, right? Yeah, this is my debut album. I uh, started my own record label. Took a little time to get the thing together, and... You know, feel pretty good about it, and the single is called Everybody Loves, and the album is in stores everywhere. And we're going to hear the uh, single in just a little bit. Now, you were on American Idol Season 4. It's been a while since Season 4. Mm -hmm. You mentioned it's, it took some time to get the album out. You've been doing a lot of stuff. What's been taking up your time in those years? Uh, you know, got to star on Broadway, uh, two shows this last season and a half or so, and produce my own tours, get out there and just, you know, work on the record, find the right voice, the right songs, the right team, and didn't want to rush into anything, and, you know, just kind of like to do a lot of different stuff, so I got out there and was able to accomplish pretty much everything I've set out to do. And it's true, I mean, I'll tell you, man, you, uh, as we've mentioned, took a while to get the album out, but, I mean, Wedding Singer and, and some other stuff on, on Broadway, and now TV, Bold and the Beautiful you've been on, so it's not like you've been hiding under a rock at all. Right, well, I try to stay under the radar as much as I can. You know, for me, it's just about doing quality work and quality projects, you know, um, trying to appease the fans as much as I possibly can. Uh, no, I didn't win the show, but I feel pretty good about my last uh, couple of years of work and hope to continue to do good stuff. And for me, it's not about trying to be famous and uh, a big celebrity or anything like that. If I can continue uh, to work as I have for the last 10 years before American Idol, then I'll be pretty happy. And you happen to be on a tough show. I mean, Carrie and Bo, I mean, there was another uh, rocker there, uh, as you guys get classified as the rockers and, and Von Zell. I mean, you had a tough season when mm. you were on as well. Yeah, I think it was the best season yet. I think uh, the most significant one, certainly. Um, the first year they sort of invited or encouraged um, people with experience to be on the show and a uh, little bit older contestants, and uh, I thought it was you know a great year for the show. Uh, certainly, the next year they, you know, the whole industry sort of jumped on the bandwagon and was like, "We want our acts on the show, and we'll clear any song you want." Our, <laughs> our year was really difficult to still clear um, a lot of the big songs um, from you know Bon Jovi and all these huge acts, and subsequently the next couple of years they you know they they joined into the party, which is great. You know, I'm a big fan of the show. I, I hosted a show on Yahoo this year about American Idol, and you know I encourage everyone to go out there and go for it. You know, in anything in life, really, it's 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 a difficult business, but so is your job and and my parents' job and everything else. So um, if you're confident in what you do and I feel you have something to contribute, I, I'd say go for it. And you're going to be giving public speeches soon too. You're going to be inspirational speeches to people all around the country. You know, I've had a pretty blessed life. Um, I must admit. You know, I grew up from pretty humble beginnings. My parents are Greek Orthodox, uh, blue collar people from Brooklyn and working you know, around the clock to support me and my brother and sister and, and put us through school. And um, you know, I, I think I have uh, a good head on my shoulders and no, I'm not a winner uh, in, of American Idol, but I feel like I'm a winner. You're a winner, you're a 